It's the Burner, man, back with Burner Talks. And after being waived by the Golden State Warriors, Chris Paul has already found a new home. Before I get started, to be greatly appreciated if you guys hit that like button. Let's see if we can get to 10 likes before we get to 100 views on the video. But it seems Chris Paul will be taking his talents to San Antonio Spurs for $11 million on a one your deal so what we're going to be talking about is how this affects the spurs and is this a good move by the spurs or is this a good move by chris paul um first things first um i love this move i love this move for chris paul and the spurs because the thing with the spurs they have some solid young players they don't really have any vets on that team um a lot of people don't know how important it is to have vets in the nba especially when you're young guys they teach you how to be pros teach you how to carry yourself um, and you always need a couple of those guys on your team. And why not have a dude like Chris Paul, who's never been in any scandals, never been in any trouble, teaching how to play the game of basketball. And his knowledge of the game being one of the best point guards to ever play this game. It's nothing but a W. And you're only getting him for 11 mil. You would have liked to get him a little cheaper. But 11 mil in today's market is not it's not terrible, not bad, you know what I'm saying, with the kind of sauce he's going to be giving. These young guys, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, they don't have too many point guards. You know, you have your Trey Joneses, your Devin Vassells, which I love, one of the best underrated guards in the league. Uh, you have Blake Wesley's, who I also love as a guard, and you have Devontae Graham. So with these guys right here with them names that I just named, you don't really have any true point guards or anybody that's going to really focus on giving Wimby the ball. Because at times this year, we all watched Spurs games. It was times where it was like, bro, why are they not giving Wimby the ball? Wimby just scored two and three times. You know, he's a rookie, so he's not demanding the ball like that. You know what I'm saying? He's not, not, not that type of player just of yet. And they're like deferring to him. It's no way this man shouldn't be touching the ball damn near every time up the court you have somebody like chris paul on your team he's gonna make sure that that happens you know what i'm saying he's not they're not gonna go through them spurts where it's five six possessions and that man is not touching the ball um he's gonna get everybody in line get everybody in their places you know it's great for everybody in my opinion you know pop great move um, in the comment section, though, I want you guys to let me know, what do you think about Chris Paul going to the Spurs? If he didn't go to the Spurs, which team would you have liked him to go to? Um, also, do you think the Spurs are going to be a playoff contender this year? And again, guys, don't forget to like up the video. Let's see if we can get to 10 likes and subscribe if you're new, because I'm going to be keeping you guys up to date on NBA news. And y'all already know who it is.